Yo, what's up? It's your boy Anthony Simmons here with Higher Heights, and I'm coming to y'all with a special broadcast. Now, this special broadcast has to do with Takeoff's death. I did do a video earlier this week, and it was dealing with Takeoff's death, but it was more from the standpoint of we need to stop this senseless violence. But let me tell you what this video is about, and this is going to go a little deeper. Because if you don't know or you've been hiding under a rock somewhere, there have been three significant murders in Houston. Texas within the last two months. Three significant people have been ended in Houston. In two of these cases, James Prince Jr. has been involved in these situations. Matter of fact, these were events that he has been hosting, him and his people. Now, if you don't know who James Prince Jr. is, he is the son of legendary Jay Prince. Jay Prince is legendary. They got a group called Mob Ties. You understand what I'm saying? So, and I'm going to be posting these pictures. I'm going to be posting the pictures of the three significant people who have been ended there. One of them being Duke the Jeweler, a young entrepreneur that was here for business. A young entrepreneur jeweler was just ended about two months ago and everybody's forgetting about it. But that was at an event that James Prince Jr., James Prince Jr. was hosting. And it had something to do with a dice game, too. Now, at the end of the day, these dice games are not the reason the people are being ended. But it's mighty funny how these two, at least these two people, life was ended. And though that just happened to be part of the events. And it's not a coincidence to me that James Prince Jr. is involved in all this. If I'm an artist, if I'm a predominant person, I'm not going to Houston. There's something evil in the air. There's something evil in the air in Houston, and I'm not going. I'm not going. Baby Rex is a rapper. I'm going to go into this real quick before I go into what I need to do on this video. If you haven't hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, run it up. We stand for the truth here. And when you tell them the truth, you ain't got nothing to fear. Now, I don't know what, what, what evil y'all fear, but I'm not fearing it. I'm just going to tell the truth. If you haven't hit that like button, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. James Prince Jr. has been at these areas. That's not a coincidence. Where I'm from, if you're involved like this in two big homicide cases like this, you either know something or you are part of something. You ain't going to no longer get to keep walking around here with all this respect. And these big name rappers and entertainers are coming to your city and they're not being able to be protected. You're not holding up for nothing. When people come to my house, when people come to my city, I feel responsible for them. Especially if I invite somebody to my area, I feel responsible for them. That's how we used to roll when we was out in the streets together, me and my homeboys. We go somewhere together, especially if it's somewhere that I'm familiar with and I got ties to, I look out on them. I look out on them to make sure they comfortable and I also make sure they safe because they don't know their surroundings. But when I look at this murder, there's no way, that's for educational purpose, for no way that takeoff should have been done the way he was done. There's no excuse for it. And if you look at one of the witnesses that said, a a, a lady that recanted her statement since then, said that you can't even be around James Prince Jr., with a weapon, they pat you down, now she said this earlier in the week, she said the only people who had weapons were on James Prince Jr.'s side, they said those are the only people with weapons, and you notice Takeoff, you notice Quavo, they didn't have weapons, they might have had a shooter with them, but they didn't have weapons, so either you know who did it, or this starting to look like setup season for me. I'm just going to be honest. Nobody don't want to say it, man. Ain't everybody scared to implicate this. I don't know why he keeps getting a clearance or they people keep getting a clearance. But it's too many people dying around you, sir. It's too many people dying around you. And I don't care if it was one of your people. Somebody got to be held responsible, man. I know in the black community, man, listen, and this is just real. We got this no stitching street justice, but it ain't enough justice going on in the streets. It ain't enough justice going on in the streets to justify people losing a loved one, 
a brother, a cousin, a nephew, a son. It ain't enough justice going on in the streets for some for us to stand on street justice. If y'all want to be honest, man done lost his life. He was feeding a lot of people. He was loving a lot of people. He was important to a lot of people. And it's not just him. Everybody's important on this earth. And this should not go without saying. Something needs to be done about this. And it's more than this little investigation that's going on now. The Houston police chief or captain or whatever he was when he did the news statement after saying that he doesn't want the rap culture there to be affected and that he don't want people to think that rappers are bad because he knows a lot of them. Look, all that bull crap go out the window. I don't care if they rap or they don't rap. I don't care if they mob ties. I don't care if they well respected. People bodies is dropping. And we got to bring it back around to the word, y'all. God says in the last days, men will be lovers of themselves, lacking natural affections. Meaning somebody died a day and we don't even think about it two days after. I got natural affection for my fellow man, meaning that I don't want to see people dying for no reason. I don't need to see mothers crying for no reason. We already got to face death, but it shouldn't be at the hands of somebody for a senseless reason. So I don't even need to hear all that. I need to hear y'all found somebody. That's responsible for this. I need to see y'all make an example out of somebody that's responsible for this. Yeah. Make somebody an example that's responsible for this. You got grown men running around talking about mob ties. And don't get it twisted. It's cute when you 16, 17, 18 to be in these little gangs, cliques, and organizations. But I'm going to tell y'all this right now. That criminal activity stuff, man, where you killing and poisoning this community, man, somebody got to stand up and tell the truth. Y'all are the problem. Y'all the problem, man. And y'all want to run around here and talk about Charleston White because he crazy and he do crazy stuff, but he telling the truth on y'all, man. Y'all are our problem. Y'all killing more people than these police that y'all saying killing. Then we got Kanye over here telling some truth. We got Ye over here telling some truth. But he can't get no support because we calling them crazy. But we ain't got to worry about nobody oppressing us these days because we taking ourselves out at a rapid pace, man. We taking ourselves out at a rapid pace and don't nobody want to hear about God or everybody's their own God. And that's the problem. Everybody's their own God. Men are lovers of themselves. And I don't want to hear about how preachers used to preach that, that men are going to be homosexuals. No, men been homosexuals since back in the day. That ain't what they talking about. They talking about you going to be prideful and boastful and you only think about yourself. You're a lover of yourself. It ain't no more. It ain't no more chivalry. It ain't no more honor. It ain't no more loyalty. It ain't none of that no more. It's only loyalty when it comes to these criminals wanting to get away with stuff. So J. Prince Jr., I don't know what need to happen, but it was three prominent known people that's been killed in that city. And let me tell you what's bad about this. I know everybody want to say Gucci Man has ties to Quavo and he was upset with the young boy uh, Bag Chase or Baby, Baby Rex, Baby Rex, who got signed by Gucci one day and got dropped in the same day because he said... I ain't going to Houston. If you book me, I'm not coming. Laugh out loud. Man, you can't get mad at this young man because he looking with his eyes. And I ain't talking about his natural one. He looking at his spiritual eyes. Three people done been killed. I ain't going there. I ain't going there. But y'all tell me what y'all think. Hashtag high highs in the comments. Y'all run them likes or smash that like. The subscribe button. And then notification bell, hashtag higher heights in them comments, and y'all be blessed.